Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. In 2019, TV3 News aired a news item on the ripped off roof of the Mumford RCDA Junior High School. Months after the report, the District Assembly fixed the roof and has also made strides in improving access to education for residents. When TV3 first visited the Mumford Junior High School in the Goma West District, it was in a bad state. The structure had not received much renovation since its establishment. Portions of its roof had dislodged, while aluminum sheets hanged loosely, riddled with holes. Teachers told us lessons were disrupted at the onset of rains, while the hanging roofing sheets produced noise. Five months after the reportage, the district assembly has come to the aid of the school. The NADMO director called me, and that's how come I called the engineer to immediately go there and assess the situation, and then get us. A report. We also had a situation where we finished it was removing, we fixed it. We wrote to the assembly and uh, immediately the assembly sent uh, the NADMO personnel to the site to see the situation. And when they reported back, the assembly uh, managed to raise some funds and then put it in place. Chiefs and opinion leaders were grateful to TV3 for the reportage. So far, Asam no ba eno, this is assembly. Yamina aduma, wabu wabu shame we say say then we sumi ni ni na kama. After the story aired on TV3, the district assembly came to renovate the school and improved upon the school's infrastructure. Thank you TV3 for airing the story. Yeah, the TV3 for asosana se nyawa na oba kwaba ya nche dawa ya wadamu education aspect ya wano. Right now, as you can see, the renovation has been done. The repair and maintenance has been done already by the district assembly. So we thank the TV3 crew that when they came in, whatever they capture, I mean, it has bear a better fruit for the community. So we will, based on this, we thank the TV3 for a good job done. Meanwhile, the district assembly, in a bid to improve access to education to residents in Mumford, is completing a community school. It will comprise a six-unit classroom block, an ICT center, and a staff common room. We took a decision to put up the school because of the growing population of that school. It's a two-stream school, A and B, but then we have one single classroom for, for all of them. And I'm told the population is about... 800 getting to 900 now, and that is what necessitated our attention, attracted our attention to go and put up the school there. So it is going to ease congestion in, in the classroom as well. The community school is expected to be completed in November this year. Um, parents who have wards at the Nyamiyama number one basic school in the Setre Afran Plains district of the Ashanti region wants government to complete an abandoned classroom block which has stalled for years. Pupils currently study under a thatch roof. Nyamiyama number one basic school is located in the Setre Afran Plains district of the Ashanti region. Pupils currently study under this makeshift structure. There's no accommodation for teachers, while pupils and teachers resort to the bush to attend to nature's call. Classes are disrupted anytime it rains. Aside this, there is no electricity in the community, while water is also a challenge. Due to this, most teachers refuse to accept postings to the school. We need school. We need many things. Some of the teachers don't have women to contribute and then pay them. Teachers' accommodation is also a problem. Teachers here refuse posting because there is no accommodation for them. GHS students here learn in a church building. The school's infrastructure challenge has compelled authorities to use a church building as housing for junior high school students. A get fund three-unit classroom block with ancillary facilities which started in the school has however stalled. Parents and opinion leaders in Yamiyama want government to quickly complete the school to address the infrastructure challenges. Nyamiyama number one school. Ayegu. Patano 
I say a bain say o best soon o babu I no. O besi dan we no. Danny Yabubu. The school is always collapsed. We don't know when government will complete the building. We need support. Yes, sir, Omoa. In so any ha. Teacher ba. One young son, Jare. One young son, Papa, no more. O Jane or Beco. Be bere qua. Be beer or honey in Ia beside the Papa beer no hair, Bacurumha, a beba so. Every year, we have to fix the makeshift structure for the pupils. We are tired of doing this. Oh, how bonsy jabbershe. In from my be ye, no beer, Jani Juma, near Bassa, a barber, a barber dino. TV3 Mission sought answers from the district chief executive. The school infrastructure, you can, you can see that uh, uh, if you mention this uh, previous schools and the trees phenomenon that appeared in parliament, uh, there's a lot of evidence of that still here around in my district. But what we have been doing is uh, missed, you know, we put in a lot of support through the GET Fund and then we are using most of our district development fund to also tackle some of them and then uh, back it up with a uh, few allocations from our district assembly common fund. He also promised to improve access to water and electricity in the community. The whole district is cut off from the main grid, the national grid. But uh, likely the work that we've put in, we are almost done with the work on the Anunofi uh, electrification. Uh, I've lobbied through Ministry of Energy and uh, last year, we did uh, the pre-survey for about 38 communities that is supposed to come to bring the total electricity coverage to appreciable number by the time we are done. But those are still in the pipelines, and I think we should be getting on to those works early part of 2020. Portable water has been a challenge for us. Uh, our water table is a challenge, so if you don't get high experienced drilling companies. They do a lot of dry wells here. And that is what I came to inherit. So what we've done is uh, we went outside our same but no same results to do some things different, more of thinking outside the box. So what we did is we borrowed from the concept of the one village, one dam. And in the areas where it was very difficult to get the boreholes, we dug the dams for them, which is helping out a bit, but it's still not full coverage. That's it for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thank you so much for your time.